What do you say to someone who's really going through it? How do we bring comfort and hope? This week I was speaking with a really good friend, Joe, and I mentioned how well he had handled some adversity in his life. And he made an interesting comment. He said, we try to have faith, but God never makes mistakes. And it reminded me from something of Job. Now, if you know the story, most people don't even want to read it because Job really went through it. And he had some friends, and they weren't a very good support group because they kept trying to make sense of why God would allow it. Why? And ultimately, the only thing they could come up with in their limited understanding is Job must have done something wrong. Then ultimately, God shows up, and God says, Who questions my wisdom in ignorance? In other words, we need to remember God is infinite, and so His wisdom, His understanding is infinite. And ours is really finite. So ultimately, what is God saying? Hey, God's wisdom is greater than our understanding of the situation. So how do we comfort? How do we bring support? One, my friend Jane, who's gone through more than most ever would, said this. She said, you know what? God knows that you can handle it. As difficult as things were for Job, God knew Job could handle it. We need to remind people that they can handle it. Number two, as crazy it seemed, God was going to be glorified. Even though there are times it doesn't seem there's any way, God will be glorified. And finally, God is good and He's merciful and faithful. And James says it this way in the Living Bible, all those years later, reflecting back on Job, and he says because of his endurance, because he continued to trust God in his sorrow, in the end we see that God's plan was good and God had mercy. So what do we tell people? You can handle it. God will be glorified, and in the end, you'll see God's plan is good.